On the 1st of July 2014, the UK's very first aquaponics solar greenhouse was opened on Kate Humble's working farm in the Wye Valley on the border of England and Wales. Pioneering sounds like quite a big claim, but this is a pioneering project. Although this greenhouse is very high tech, aquaponics has been around for thousands of years. It's a very clever way of combining aquaculture, the farming of fish, with hydroponics, growing plants in nutrient-rich water without soil. The idea is it's not only an incredible integrated interlinked um, food system, but it's also a living classroom. The brains behind the system are Charlie Price and Becky Bainbridge, who together run Aquaponics UK, a not-for-profit social enterprise. With the Earth's population still growing fast and projected to be 8 billion by the middle of this century, this state-of-the-art greenhouse could point the way to how we feed ourselves in the future. One of the lovely things about my job is that I get to learn about some really interesting and innovative ideas. And it was when I was filming a programme about energy that I met somebody who said, you ought to find out about aquaponics, I think you'd be really interested in it. So I looked it up, good old internet, and um, it just seemed such an extraordinary, brilliant, simple idea. And what really hooked me was the design of this greenhouse. And I was sold. I said, can, can we build one in Wales? And they went, they built them in Siberia. I don't see why not. And so we started. So how do you go about building an aquaponic solar greenhouse? We started with a set of Charlie and Becky's detailed construction plans. From the finished look of the building, the shape of the fish tanks, the thickness of the walls, right down to the foundations. The greenhouse needs to capture the maximum amount of heat and light from the sun. So our site is in an open area and faces south, marked out ready to start digging our foundation trenches. Greenhouse walls will absorb the sun's heat during the day and release it at night. So we want to keep as much heat as possible inside the greenhouse and that includes the foundations. So we're putting thermal insulation on the outside, the field side. This is the footings out for the greenhouse. So our new aquaponics greenhouse which is pretty amazing. So this is the footings, insulated footings, to act as a, as a heat store, I guess, a big radiator. So the insulation keeps the heat in the concrete. The greenhouse will be 13 and a half metres long by 8 metres wide. The foundations are a metre deep and 30 centimetres thick. That requires about 12 cubic metres, or roughly 25 tonnes, of ready mix concrete. There he is. Wow. Is it all in or not? No, no, no. Come in. So that was just, that was a big load, that was six metres. Right. Wow. wow. Exciting, isn't it? It is exciting. That's our foundation. He said we'd hopefully be done by the morning, by, by lunchtime, so this morning we finished with the luck. We must have to run off. Yeah.